What is up, everyone? It is I, the Conservative Coin Collector. Welcome back to my channel. And today's I got another package. I ordered something off of Amazon. I'm good time to show you what it is. In here, I have 148 unsearched wheat pennies. It's a gamble when you buy unsearched wheat pennies online because I literally have a whole jar of these. I could put 150 of these in a bag and say they're unsearched, but uh, that would kind of be a lie because all my key dates and stuff are on my coin book. I'm going to see if these truly are unsearched. It's a gamble when you buy unsearched anything on Amazon or eBay or wherever you buy it from, but hopefully I got myself a good deal. I wanted to keep the sack that it's in, but it's tied just a little too tight. So I'm definitely going to have to do a little cutting. I got my trusty old skizzers, and it's time to do a little cutting. I need both hands for it, so this is definitely going to have to happen off camera. The sack is open. And I see a couple of weedies off the bat. I see what looks like an old penny here. What I'm going to have to do is search by year and then see if I can find any key dates off of that. So I'm going to have to do a little searching. See, this one looks old. It is. 1918, that looks like. So far, it just looks like a bunch of wheat pennies. Before I need to stop procrastinating and start searching to see what I have. I have out my trusty penny book that I've been filling over the years. And so far, these are all from the 50s. I stuck my new steel sense over here. And these are all from the 50s. 50. This is a 58D. 57, 56, 55. No, 53, 51, and another 51. When it comes to the 50s in my recent book, I need the 51S and 52S. I need the 49S, the 48S, and the 47S. Where I am, I am about as far away from San Francisco as you can possibly get. So, I'm going to have to uh, look a little harder if I want to find any S's. I have a 51D and a 51P, so but no key date 51S. I found a 1944, and the oldest find is this very slick 1918. Do I have a 1918? The one I do have is in way better condition. The 18D looks pretty slick in my collection, though. But I have it now. It's time to uh, search through maybe 10 or so more coins, and I can show you what I have. And now that I had to cut open that sack, they're not going to stay in that anymore. They're going in this. In my trusty wheat scent bucket. Because all those blue cents are searched. And these are going to be searched as well. A lot of 50s. But those are the most common dates. So far, when it comes to these unsearched wheat pennies, it's kind of kind of what I would have expected. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I was thinking maybe it would have changed, but these are mostly common, you know, common 1950s pennies. Nothing to write home about. But I did find another very slick 1919. 
and I have a 1935 and a 1938 so several from the 30s is this 1938 just a plain one? Yes, it is. If it was a deer and us, I would have filled a slot. And this is a 1935 plane. In my penny book, I have the plane. It has to be an us. When it comes to my book, especially in the more newer wheat sense, I miss it a lot of S's, a lot of the like key date S's because I don't live anywhere near San Francisco. And if I did, I probably sure, I'm sure I would have more if I did, but it's all about where you live. Ooh, this penny looks, oh, I better turn you around. This penny looks older. Nope, oh, 56. Just looked a little older from the back, but when I see the back, to see a little more detail, it's, oh. This one's a very slick down. 19... Fuck ass. 13. It's a 3, I think. Yeah, 1913. So far, I have the oldest penny, 1913. And I have a 1913. I'm going to have to look and see if it's either... I don't think it's a key, D, or an S. I have to check. It's just a regular 1913. And... I have another very slick one in the uh, page there too. 77 million rement head. But this one, I'll keep out. I think the ones that I'll keep out of my bucket, at least for right now, are 192s and older. But so far, I took out the Steelies, and these are from the 50s. I think the one thing I'll do with all my 50 search ones is just stick them in the jar. Because they're searched. And I don't. With, if it, when it comes to a wheat penny, if I find one in circulation, I take it out and put it in the jar. My goal in life is to fill this jar completely full of wheat pennies. So you may see another one of these unsearched wheat pennies of videos coming. If you want to see more, let me know down below. This 1958, let's see if I can move it to more towards the light. It's got a very interesting tone to it. It's a very unique, uniquely toned 1958. I specifically put a segregated this one out because I like the tone of it. This is not going in the basket. This is going to get flapped because... It's just something about it. It just looks... It looks very good. It's in very great shape. And being it's the last year of Wheat Penny, it's not really worth all that much, but... It was just a very interesting toned coin. I found a 1952 with the very same... I think it's even a little bit darker, but the, the similar toning to it. I even think this one's slightly off-center as well. No, it's not. It just looks the the L looks a little cut off, but I don't think it's off center. It's just another very interestingly toned uh, wheat penny, and it's another one I'm keeping away from the bucket. And so all the fifties pennies, I have some forties and thirties and fifties here too. I decided what I'm gonna keep out are those interesting toned pennies. And I have a few pennies here that are over 100 years old. So that's what I'm keeping out. So far, nothing too exciting. But I guess we'll have to find if there's anything more exciting. I gotta, I gotta do a little more digging here. Would you look at here? I got a 1917D. And you want to know what I needed in my book? A 1917D. We're doing this live on camera. Press the coin into the book. I got myself a 1917D. Heck yeah! I'm finding, I found a couple more interesting things along with those 1917Ds, so 
I cannot wait for the recap, and I'm so happy I was able to fill a slot in my book. As I would have guessed, a lot of those wheat pennies were basically 1950s. But with most of the wheat pennies being made in the 40s and the 50s, I, I'm not upset. I have a weakness for wheat pennies. If I find one, I take one. And it goes in my bucket, which is now slightly fuller. It doesn't look fuller, but that's because I only put 143 maybe coins in here. On to the finds. Along with this 1917D I was able to put into my book, I kept all the very old oldies for the 20s and older. So I got a 1929, a 1924, a 1918, 18, 19, 1913 that is, and a couple of the interesting tone in the 1950s. So I'd say it's... Not necessarily too good of a too good of a hunt, but hey, I'll take what I can get. And if I can fill a slot in my book, I am one happy collector. I got some cleaning up to do, so I uh, I'll let you go here. I'm a conservative coin collector. You know to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell icon. And until next time, I'm signing off. So long, everybody.